This is Chris Kell with your Abs Reveal Daily Day 2 Workout. For today we're going to do something a little bit differently. We're going to incorporate a new technique that I've been working on called positional isometric breathing. Okay, The key is that the, the type of breathing that we want to do when we're doing core training or just in general is what we call diaphragmatic breathing. So in order to demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is put my hand on my belly, take a deep breath in, and try to expand my belly into my hands. So I'm trying to get fat. I'm not just trying to expand my belly here, I'm also trying to expand laterally. From here, what I want to do is purse my lips and blow out as if I'm blowing out a balloon. Purse and tighten. Okay, that's the idea. So for today, what we're going to do is do this in a dead bug position. Okay, so here with this, this type of breathing is going to turn on your abs. But what I'm going to ask you to do to begin with is just start in this position. Take a deep breath in through your nose, fill your belly with air, and then blow out while tightening your abs and pressing them into the floor. Take a couple breaths, deep breath in, and then think about counting maybe to four. As you blow out, you feel your abs first and tighten. Now, when you want, if you're looking to define your lower abs, this is the type of thing that is going to turn on the muscles that really work on this area in particular. So this type of training is extremely crucial to doing this uh, for really anybody that has that goal. You know, people that have had C-sections or women that have had children often lose control of these muscles. So this type of, of breathing is going to be really important as we do our core training. Now for our first exercise, what we're going to do is just a simple leg extension. So I want to get my abs tight and work on that breathing and then raise my feet off the ground. What I'm going to try to do is just extend my legs out as far as I can while maintaining this type of breathing. Deep breath in and blowing for a period of 50 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. I'm going to come down rest for a minute, and then I'm going to perform the sec my second exercise, which is just allowing my arms to come behind me. So again, I'm going to extend my legs to come out as far as I can, let my arms drop down behind me as far as I can, take a deep breath in, and blow out. You can position your arms in different ways to get this going on, but keep your head against the ground for this one, just because that can hurt the neck a little bit. So that's our first two exercises, and that, that would be for a period of 50 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. Extend your legs to make it harder, bring your, pull your knees to your chest and make it easier. The key is that you're able to keep your back pretty pressed into the ground as we do this, and you're not holding your breath. You're, made, you're able to maintain that type of good breathing. Now our second two exercises are just a single leg glute bridge. So what I want to do here is make sure that I'm getting this in my butt, put my hand on my butt cheek, come up, squeeze, and come down. What you could also do is the same type of breathing to help to use your abs to help this process. Deep breath in, blow out as I come up. Just give me one second here. Okay, I'm just gonna, oh, one second, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay, and just hit the other side. So we have 50 seconds of work on one side, come down, 50 seconds of work on the other side. So, and if you need to make that harder, what you could also do is put your back on a chair. What I like to do is turn the chair sideways this ensures that I'm not getting my back up against the kind of the rest of the chair here and it doesn't hurt as much. And again, just like this. You should be feeling this in your butt versus your hamstring. If you don't, just bring your back back on the floor here. But again, we have 50 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest for each drill. This is a 12-minute circuit today, so we're performing three rounds of each. That's your workout. Enjoy.